Yeah. You know, Kaos is very new. It's uh, nine years old. I'm only the third president. Uh, you know, in, it has a dual mission. It's about research and education and innovation and economic development. I think in the first nine years, we've done quite well in the first mission. So publications, our research is, uh, is focused on four areas so far. Uh, uh, food, water, energy, and environment. So these are topics that are global. It's part of the UN Sustainable Development Goals, but they are also relevant to the kingdom, obviously, like desert agriculture, water desalination, and these we're still going. But in addition, uh, since I came, I want to make another push in the digital revolution area. You hear a lot about this uh, in, in, uh, in WEF and Davos. Uh, you know, AI, cybersecurity, robotics, so we're making big push in that. And the idea is not just in those, it's to also make use of those in the area, the first four area that we talk about. You can, we can use AI for doing better science, for example. So we're making big push. The other big area we're, we're thinking about doing, you know, the kingdom has, uh, has been making a lot of transformation. You know, there's a strategic plan called Vision 2030 to move the economy beyond oil more into innovation and technology, so COWS is very much aligned. Uh, I want to align it more with that, so to make use of the small capacity of COWS to have more impact both within the kingdom and broadly the world. We're working with both academic institutions, uh, obviously even here, uh, I, the reason I'm here is that there is uh, something called the Global University Leaders Forum that is held every year at Davos. And I'm a guest of that. And before that, my previous job, I was a member. So we do that. There are university presidents here that we're discussing. You know, you can imagine other university of science and technology around the world. Uh, we want to collaborate with them and they want to collaborate with us. We're very well funded. We're very good facilities. But in addition to universities, we also collaborate with multinational companies. So within uh, Saudi Arabia, the biggest company is Saudi Aramco. So they actually have a building uh, that is going to be finished on our campus. Dow, you know, a global uh, chemical company, have a building that is finished on our SABIC, uh, on our campus. And we have, uh, in addition to building, we have other corporations that are doing it with us, like Lockheed Martin. We have an agreement with McLaren, the Formula One. In fact, right now, there's a McLaren park in front of my office, in the, the building, in front of the building. And uh, there is a reception tonight, I think. McLaren is here. So, you know, they're interested in our technology. I mean, McLaren is, is, Aramco is obvious. They're interested in combustion, sustainable energy. Sabic is interested in chemicals. But McLaren is interested in aerodynamics. We have one of the world's fastest supercomputers, university-based supercomputers. We usually do simulation. And we also, uh, uh, they're interested in our research in fuel mix combustion. Because, you know, if a better fuel mix, it will shave uh, one second of their time. That means whether you're number one or number five, right? So, so we have a lot of collaboration with international uh, corporates. We are international English based, so so it's, we're in a good, in a well position to do this. So our university is one of science and technology. So our students already, you know, uh, they come here because of that. But I think maybe the question: of How do we make use of our platform to? to impact the bigger audience in the whole society. So we do outreach. For example, right now this week, we have something called the Winter at Rich Enrichment Program. So we bring in Nobel laureates, we bring in a McLaren, we bring in uh, other speakers from around the world. We, for our students, our students are required to, to do that, but we open it up to other students, to people from the area, from the kingdom, and from, from outside. We invited, I was told, like 50 students from around the world to come and we run the competition, and uh, maybe I think six of them will win. So we do a lot of this. We think, we feel we have a responsibility for doing this, and I think we have a platform for doing this. The, my, I'm still new to the, to the kingdom, but what I have observed are uh, several aspects. First of all, women, you know, is being liberated. Our university, uh, this year we have our graduation, the, the PhD graduates, okay, 
more women than men. So you know, coming, this is quite surprising. Okay, uh, the women, they uh, they they like the more open atmosphere in our university and maybe improving in the kingdom. That's number one. Second is the young people. In fact, I attended a panel uh, organized by MISC. You know about this, right? So for young people, and I I attended a, a MISC meeting before. You can see the question coming from the young people. They are much more plugged into things happening around the world. See, everybody have their iPhone. They're on Facebook. They know what's going on around the world. They are not content, you know, just to work for a big company. Many of them do. Many of them are turning uh, to be entrepreneurs. Uh, so at Cows, we are mounting programs to enrich all of our students on entrepreneurship. I think that's what we, we the kind of proactive action we are planning. Wow, still going on, but uh, lots of things on AI, cybersecurity, that's still going on. A lot of things on data, a lot of concern about the global, you know, geopolitics. The world is not going too well. In fact, my point is, when things are not going well, science and technology and uh, human capital is the way out of that. Because, you know, those things are inherently not political. Uh, so, you know, I've been here like five or six times. And this one, uh, there's a little bit of uh, pessimism, I, I have to say. A uh, lot of optimism on the technology. There's almost too much expectation. Like AI can solve every problem. I can tell you it cannot, or at least not in the short term. Uh, but the more worry is, the, where's the world going? You know, it's sort of a little bit chaotic. That's my take.